In this part one of two video, we're going to learn how to set up a linear programming problem. What I do suggest is that what I do suggest is that you pause the video so that you could read through the word problem. Did you pause it? Good. The first thing to do when wording a word problem is to figure out what your variable should be. Basically, to find out, you look at what the question says. It says how many packages of each type of mixture should be should she make? Well, we don't know how many packages of each type of mixture she should make, so let's let those be our variables. We have two different types of mixtures, gardening and a potting mixture. So we'll let x be number of packages of gardening mix, and we'll let y be the potting mix packages. Excellent. Now that we have our variables established, we need to find our objective function. Remember, your, your possible options are maximize and minimize. Notice we're trying to maximize revenue here. So we're going to write the word max. And we'll use Z because it's our generic letter. Equals. Since we're trying to maximize revenue, notice that each package of a gardening mix brings in three bucks. We have X packages, so that would be three X. Plus, in each package of a potting mixture sells for five bucks. We have Y of those. That would be 5y. We're going to maximize this objective function subject to. And now we'll have constraints. Notice we have a limit on how much soil we have, peat moss, and fertilizer. So off to the side, this is completely optional, but I do strongly suggest it. I'm going to write down soil, peat moss, and fertilizer. What you want to do is you want to put all the soil numbers together, all the peat moss numbers together, and all the fertilizer numbers together. That will ensure that you don't put numbers in the wrong places. So let's start with the soil. Notice a gardening mixture, which we called X, requires two pounds of soil. And we have X packages, so that would be two X. Plus, and now we have to skip around. A package of potting mixture requires one pound of soil, one Y. That one's optional. And notice she has at most 16 pounds of soil. Well, at most means less than or equal to 16. And that's our soil inequality, our soil constraint. Now we'll do the same thing for peat moss. A package of gardening mixture requires one pound of peat moss. We have X packages of gardening mixtures. And notice that a package of potting soil requires two pounds of peat moss. And she has, at most, 11 pounds of peat moss. Now for fertilizer. Gardening needs one pound of fertilizer. And potting needs three pounds of fertilizer. She has, at most, 15 pounds of fertilizer. That's a lot of fertilizer. But we're not done with our linear programming problem. There's something else we have to consider. Notice she cannot sell or even make a negative number of packages. So that means we need non-negative constraints. X is greater than or equal to zero. Y is greater than or equal to zero. And that sets up our linear programming problem. So all this in English is this right here in mathematics. So if you're asked to define, name and define your variables, that's what this means. And this is your linear programming problem, all this good stuff.